This is probably going to be my favorite material on the entire channel. Hey guys, welcome back to Tets by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at another material. We've done material videos in the past. I think this is like the third or fourth one, whatever. But um, we, we're doing another one today, and I absolutely love these, and I think this is going to be my favorite material of all time. But we're going to go ahead and split our window into two by dragging our cursor from the left hand or the right hand side and just splitting it right there. Now change this to the shader editor, this little box right there, and you can see this is the node setup we have here. It's not too much. It looks a little crazy, um, you know, initially, but it's not that bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to duplicate this. Uh, uh, actually, we're just going to move it over. We're going to move this material output over, and we'll just re recreate it from that. So uh, this is really really cool because it's, it's very easily customizable, and it changes quite a bit with that little bit of customization. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a principled uh, shader, and we're going to du duplicate that. So let me move this way over here. I'll just reference this if I ca in case I forget something, which will probably happen because there's a lot of values. Um, we'll hit Shift A and hit Search to add in a principled shader, B BSDF, right there. There we go. And I'll just hook this up into the uh, the surface, which now we have a color, which is nice. Um, I will also go ahead and, and hit Shift A and we'll add in a mix mix uh, shader, and then we'll place that right there. And we'll hit, uh, with our principled shader selected, we'll hit Shift D to duplicate that. Place it right beneath it, and then hook that up into the bottom half. Oop, the bottom half of the uh, mix shader there. So, uh, right now, nothing's going to happen because we're mixing two of the same exact things together. So I'm going to go ahead and, and hit uh, B to box select, and then G to move these over just like that. About right there. Yeah, sure, fine, that's good. Um, and now, uh, what I want to do here is, is I want to grab that exact color. So what was this color over here? This is a blue color. The hex value is uh, 4FB. 8FF, and we'll hit Control V to copy that, right? And then we'll go over here to this base color, go to the hex, Control, uh, no, I hit the wrong one. <laughs> we need to hit Control C to copy first, of course. Uh, grab that hex value, Control C, and then over here, Control V, Enter. Now we have that same exact blue color, which is nice because I want the same exact values. All right, and then over here, uh, we'll grab the subsurf color as well, which is, what is that? Let me scroll in. Uh, eight nine nine five FF. Control C to copy that, and then we'll hit uh, Control V to paste that. Perfect. And now one more of these. We have. Uh, I think there's. I think there's a color down here. Uh, e no, we don't need any of that. Okay, so that's fine. We can leave both of those on uh, on white. We don't need to do anything with that. Now for the subsurf, you can see we do have a little bit of subsurf. We have 1.29 subsurf on our top subsurf on our top principal shader. So I'll go ahead and recreate that 129 uh, subsurf, and we'll go ahead and go to our uh, scene tab, our render tab over here on the right hand side, and we'll just make sure that's checked on. So let me check all this off, and we'll just turn subsurface uh, on right there. So you can see now we have uh, that working nicely. So. Uh, what I want to do now is we can go ahead and uh, get the rest of these values. So the you can pretty much see I, I pretty much maxed everything out except for um, a, a few values here. So we'll just go ahead and recreate that. I think that's what is that all three of those and then all four of those. Yeah. All right. So we'll just do that. We'll just one, two, three, and then we'll go one, two, three, four. <laughs> Laggy lag. There we go. All right. So now we have that looking pretty pretty good here. Um, after that, we're going to go ahead and hit and add in a add shader. So we'll hit Shift A and we'll type in a math um, because we need that uh, that math function right there. And we'll just plop that right above the principal shader and plug that into the factor of our mix shader. I'm going to move over our principal shader so you can see what's going on here. Um, so now what we, what we have is we have the two principal shaders working together, and then we have the add shader where we're going to mix two uh, textures into the factor, which is nice. So let, we can go over here and take a look at this. You can see that we have that add shader right there, and now we have two more of those same exact things. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to go ahead and uh, actually we'll max out all of these bottom ones as well because we need these to be maxed out too. Um, so we'll just max out all those and all of these, and then this last one. Always takes a long time to do. Okay. Right there. All right. So now you can see we do have a little bit of the subsurf going on, but nothing is interesting. It's just a plain white thing. So what we need to do is we can go ahead and hit uh, with our add shader. We'll hit shift D to duplicate this, and we'll change the top one to power, I believe. Uh, no, the bottom one's to power. The top one's on multiply. So we'll go ahead and make sure that's on multiply, and then hit shift D once again, and we will uh, change this multiply to power. We can hook both of these up, the power into the bottom of the add 
and then the multiply into the top of the ad uh, which is nice so we still won't have anything changed the thing that's going to make this really really great we'll hit g to move these down by the way uh, the thing that's going to make this really, really great is uh, is these four nodes up here. These four nodes are kind of like the grandfather of this entire shader. Without these, nothing's going to happen. So, we can go ahead and take a look at these real quick. We have a Voronoi, we have a Wave, another Wave, and then a Musgrave, which is super, super sweet. So, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this. Um, we can actually uh, uh, re recreate this. Sorry, not duplicate. Uh, we can go, go up back over here. We can add in every single one of these. We had a Shift A, Search, uh, Voronoi. V O, we'll just type in Shift A, Wave, right? And then we'll hit Shift D to duplicate that because we have two different wave textures. And then Shift A for our last time, Search, Musgrave. So now we have all four of these, which is what we needed. We can go ahead and plug them all in at the same time. You can see what uh, what they'll do. If I plug that Verona in, you can see that it will. Well. There, there we go. It will have a little bit of an effect there, a little bit of an effect there, but not enough. So we'll go ahead and plug the wave texture in as well. The second wave texture into the power and the musgrave into the bottom of the power. That looks pretty sweet by itself. If you wanted to be done, you could be done right now. But we're not going for that right now. That does look really, really, really super cool though. Wow, that's awesome. Um, but we can make this even better. So uh, the first uh, value for the Verona texture, I'm going to go ahead and change to somewhere around 59. Um, which looks pretty good. You can see in there we have that little bit of a change there. You can see what's changing right there. There we go. So we have, uh, let's just bump it up to 60. We'll, we'll do 60. Yeah, well, I like uh, solid numbers. Yeah, so we'll bump, bump it up to 60. And then for our wave, for our two wave textures, we have uh, for the top one, we have 1.6, 37.4, and 16 and 5. So I think I'm going to round these up because I want to, um, uh, you know what, I, I do want it to be this exactly the same. So what we'll, do, what we'll do is we'll do it exactly the same. So what was this? Uh, 59.6 and this was what 1.3 yeah I want these values to be exactly the same so uh, we'll just grab this wave texture hit shift hit shift D and we'll just uh, bring it over here and then just duplicate it uh, exactly so this was 1.6 this was 37 point uh, was that 4 7.4 this one was 16 and of course we have five for the detail scale and you can you can't see this one all that much but if I zoom in here to one of these uh, to one of these uh, yellow textures you should be able to see it uh, really really easy you see what's happening there in the background yeah all right so there we go uh, was that 1.6 yeah there we go all right so that was just for the top. So these two right here the Verano and the, the top Verano and the top wave were for the actual inside you see all of this this textury type stuff that was for all of that so now we move on down to here these two are for the lines themselves which is going to be uh, super super cool so we can go over here to the second wave texture which is negative uh, point one negative one point four sorry we'll hit shift D and then G to move it over here so I can just uh, see it easier so we have negative one point four we have thirty seven um, point four you can see some stuff changing up over here. We have 16 and 5. So that, that last detail right there, that's what's really going to bump this thing up. You can see the difference from 0 to 5. It's just insane. So we already have a texture that's a, a material that's looking absolutely incredible. Um, one of the coolest things I've ever seen. But we have some other things to do here. You can see that we have the changes from rings and saw. So we'll go ahead and change this from uh, bands right here to rings. And we'll change sign to saw we got oh there we go all right sweet all right so I have the two different variations here this one on the left hand side is the version without the rings and saw this one is uh, this one is bands and sign for both the wave textures and then this one on the right hand side is rings and saw for both of the wave textures you can decide which one you like for yourself better so if I were to go ahead and drag this principled shader blue color to the bottom principled shader here you can see what we have we have a more greenish blue thing now so if I go ahead and just offset that blue just a little bit you can see we have uh, really really cool uh, uh, difference like blue tinge like that which looks really cool but yeah so that is uh, that's it this very very customizable material which looks just super super cool I hope you guys enjoyed it I'll see you guys in the next tutorial but until then bye bye